What's up you guys? Hey, thank you guys for watching this video once again. It is actually Father's Day today. And when I was writing my Father's Day post, because I do that, because my dad is like, you know, having fun by himself. Like he doesn't have time for other shit. So I have to write a post so that way he'll, my mom will see it. And then he'll, she'll make my dad read it. And you know, shit like that, so. <laughs> anyway. I'm thinking about that and I'm thinking about like, you know, how I got into medicine. Some of you guys know that my dad was big into hunting and he taught me, like he took me hunting when I was really young. I am going to get to a point in this video, I actually have a really good topic. He took me hunting when I was young and that is when I started seeing the inside of animals. That's how I kind of got interested in medicine, I mean not directly in medicine, but I was like, well, what is this? What are these organs? Well, how do they work? What is this all cool stuff? I want to know what these things are. And he's really the person that's passed down. Like he was very adept at doing everything. And he got me into skiing. And that's one of my <clears throat> number one things that I love to do. And I was thinking about that and then why I went to medicine. And then the question I always get, how do I choose to go into medicine? How do I choose what area in medicine to go into? And I sort of talked about this before, but I think this, thinking about Father's Day today really kind of was like, ding. This is a good topic to talk about. And that is, what do you have an advantage in? So for me, I played video games. I had already been exposed to organs. I was coordinated and was interested in science. And, you know, all after <laughs> I screwed some things up, then I realized that I could study for long periods of time. And so all my advantages kind of lean towards a surgical career. On top of that, like, I always wanted to be the superhero. Like, all kids want to be a superhero, right? But I, I really like to be that person who, like, took care of shit like, in an emergent situation. And so that's what emergency general surgery kind of was, was more kind of my speed. So that's what I would say. First, I would try and decide if you want to do surgery, not surgery. And for some people, that's a really easy decision because everyone talks bad about surgery before you go and do surgical rotation because it's really hard and surgeons are assholes, which is correct. And so you have to kind of like, kind of be interested in it before you go into it. But I will tell you that a lot of students that I had came through really shitting their pants in surgery, or being in surgery and scared about it and then really liked it. I turned, I turned a few people to the dark side when they didn't think they were gonna go into surgery because it was very fun. It is very fun. And so I, I think if you're a manual dexterity type of person and you like to do stuff with your hands and fix things like that, then then that's a surgical, probably for you, it's a surgical career. Surgery, honestly, it's not that much thinking. It's less thinking. In my opinion, I don't know, maybe because it's been a while now that I have to think less because I do it so often. And it's more like fixing, you know? Uh, but medicine is more thinking because you're looking at a patient, you're not really seeing stuff. Like I get to see stuff. I'm like, oh, that appendix is rotten. Oh, that gallbladder is rotten. Oh, I have to do like this part, you know, there's a peptic ulcer here. I got to do a gastrojejunostomy. You're like, and I get to put them together and I go, what, this, does this look good? This look pretty good. I, I don't know, this little pink, you know, this is pink and this is the, you know, purple. I don't know if this, this is gonna live. And, you know, like, so I get to see stuff. I couldn't do medicine if I if I never saw like you know what was going on because a lot of I think I feel like a lot of medicine is like you're taking signs and symptoms here and there and you're putting them together and you're kind of building a a map or a you know an image in your head about what's going on in there and let me tell you some medicine doctors get it right and some do not I'll tell you that much right now but that is beside the point so that's that's kind of where I'd start and then and then like when you're studying this stuff okay and you're and you're in med school and you're like oh the kidney is amazing holy shit, look at all the things this kidney does maybe you should be a nephrologist right? or uh, the, the heart and the cardiovascular system you're like wow this is amazing 
then you maybe start thinking about cardiology or cardiothoracic surgery, depending you know, if you're somebody that likes to fix stuff. Anyway, you should basically go into surgery, okay, because it's more fun. If you don't like fun, go into medicine. That's a joke. A lot of you f***ers cannot take a joke or you don't know what a joke is because I get a lot of like messages that I'm an asshole and I don't like my colleagues and what a prick I am and I would never go to an arrogant surgeon like that. What an asshole. It's a f***ing joke, people. Do you not understand what the f*** a joke is? God, where do you f*** grow up? Who teaches you this? Who teaches you no joke city? I don't understand. No smiling, just just walking, just don't just do my job. I'm just no jokes, mm -mm, no fun for me. Mm -mm. To the store, home, bed, back to work. Well, too bad for that. Shit. Anyway, hey, if you guys like these videos and you want to go to med school and you're having a tough time, I do have this little study course. It's called SecretStudyHacks.com. You go check it out. That's where I take all the knowledge I've learned over the last. 30 years and I stuff it into your brain. I don't really stuff it into your brain. I just have some videos you can watch and probably you'll fix your studying and stuff like that. And then hopefully you can get into med school. And then I'll help you. I have a little Facebook uh, community. Lots of fun people there. Positive people, not these douchebags on that studentdoc.net or org or something. I don't know. So if you guys are interested in something like that, check it out. If not, keep watching these videos unless uh, YouTube uh, cuts me off because I just ramble sometimes. I got it from my mom, also she rambles. They tell stories, my family. They tell long, long stories and they never get to the end, basically, or the punchline. It's kind of like these videos. All right, you guys, hey, thanks for watching these videos. You guys are awesome. Subscribe, like, share, comment, if you would. I'll see you in the next one.